quick question. Does anybody live near the Hudson or the East River? Nice. Have any of you swam in the Hudson or the East River? Wow, you guys are braver than I am. Um, all right, for those who haven't or don't want to yet, we basically have a project that hopefully will allow everybody to swim in it cleanly. It's called Plus Pool. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's called Plus Pool because it's shaped like a plus, just fairly obvious. But the big thing about this project, which we're really excited about, is that it's basically a giant strainer or a giant Brita like you have at home. Um, it basically filters almost a million gallons of river water every day, so you're actually swimming in real, natural, chemical-free water. Um, and then that clean water gets put back in the river. So it's a way, I think, if anybody was here in the morning session talking about how architecture can really make your cities better, um, we think this can do that by basically making the rivers cleaner. The design is basically four pools stuck together, so anybody, no matter how you want to swim, no matter what you like pools for, can kind of swim together. And the whole project is really based around the fact that we are technically on an island. Um, I grew up in San Diego near the beach. Um, I don't feel like I live near a beach at all, of course, but we have so much real water surrounding the city that it seemed like a no-brainer to try to get a way for people to swim in it. It's something that actually the city did over 100 years ago, but obviously this is sort of what happens in the rivers today where it's basically just too dirty to swim in. What we wanted to do is really kind of pick a spot in the river, show what it's like, what clean river could be like, and give a chance uh, for everybody to feel what that is. So this is one of the spots we're looking at, if anybody lives near Brooklyn Bridge Park. Um, it's an amazing park, a beautiful park. Um, we're also looking at a few other spots in the city. But again, the, the really exciting thing is this part here is basically a really fat wall. So like any wall, like a building, but imagine it um, much larger and containing all of this technology that can clean the water. Again, like a Brita. Think of giant Brita's basically in the side of your pool. What it does is it basically takes out everything bad from big to small that would otherwise be harmful as you're swimming. And what we've actually been able to do um, is actually test a lot of this technology. This has never been done before um, ever in the world. Um, we didn't know this when we, we had the idea for the project, but what it meant is we had to sort of invent all this stuff as we went along. Um, and so we've been trying it out for the last few years. Um, we actually built a very, very tiny version of it over on the Hudson last year and built our own mini version of a science lab, which was fun, but also not what I was really trained for. <laughs> was actually really interesting. Basically, all the stuff you guys are doing in the school, we had a mobile version of that um, on the river. Uh, what that meant, and this is where it gets kind of nerdy, all this chart is telling you is the red line is how dirty the river is. Um, one thing that's really interesting about the river is it actually sometimes it's very clean, sometimes it's incredibly dirty. What the pool is able to do is the blue line at the very bottom, which means no matter how dirty the river is, no matter what's happening in the environment, the pool can always clean it. So you're always swimming in something safe and clean, but it's natural. Um, it'll still be a little salty. Um, the oxygen that the plants and wildlife need in the river to survive actually still stays in the pool, but obviously all the bacteria and the bad stuff is filtered out. We've also actually started partnering with some schools, um, as well as Google, to make a way where everybody can understand this data. But really, the, the basic idea of it, and I think one thing that's been really inspiring for me seeing all the talks today is at the end of the day, you want to do a project like this because it makes the city better, but also simply because it's fun. Um, we basically started this project simply because on days like this, when you're hot and sweaty, swimming in something actually sounds really great. And so that experience was something we wanted to basically design for people. It's something we're following in Berlin. They have a similar pool, although it doesn't filter water. Copenhagen, their water's already clean, so they have ways where people can swim in the harbor. And it's amazing to see how much this changes cities and how much then this changes the lives of the people around in cities. Besides the project itself, the main point I wanted to sort of get across really was this was just started by a group of friends. A group of friends that had no idea how to build a pool, how to design a pool, how to filter water. Really very similar, I think, basically to the experiments you guys are trying out. Um, something new to you guys, but you basically take it on and run with it. And we basically built a whole world around the pool, um, got a lot of interest around the world, appeared on some TV shows, basically built a giant list of support from everybody in the city, from young to old. And the whole idea was we were able to give a piece of this project back to everybody involved. And so, for example, the entire deck of the pool, the floor of the pool, will be made of all these tiles. So anybody that's, that's helped with the project can get their name on the pool. We like to think of it as a way that you can actually stick your name on a monument for the city. After New York, we're hoping to open this pool in a lot of other places, but of course, we're in New York. This is for New York, so that's first. But again, I think it's really exciting to work on things that actually have real good impacts on cities. 
whether they're small, like hand pollinating like the group before, whether they're big, like building libraries or soccer stadiums. Um, I think it's important to whatever you do, obviously, to make a way where you can kind of make the environment around the project better. The project's still ongoing. We're still working on it every day. Um, you're welcome to check it out yourself, but one thing that's very important is I wanted to take a photo of you guys and put it up on our Instagram. Um, so everybody be as loud as you possibly can be and wave a lot. Thank you.